lawyer and consultant go head to head in the race for House District 73, covering portions of Chesterfield. Both of these political newcomers hope they have what it takes to impress voters this fall. As political reporter Henry Graff tells us, one of the candidates is running because no one else is willing. Mark Early and Herb Walk both want to be the next House delegate from District 73. The area encompasses all of western Chesterfield County, as seen on this map provided by the Virginia Public Access Project. They want schools that focus on bread and butter issues. They want to focus on the core academics. They want uh, hard work and merit and excellence to be rewarded. Early, the Republican in this race, says students need equal opportunities, not outcomes in the classroom. The foster parent says he will focus on parental empowerment and school choice. Aside from education, Early says inflation is another concern, along with backing law enforcement. They have a hard job. We're asking them to do a hard job. So we need to make sure we don't tie their hands behind their back. We need to give them the tools that they need to accomplish it. Walk is the Democratic candidate in this race. He's running because he says no one else would in this typically conservative area. What I do is I solve problems and folks have asked me to help solve some of the problems we have today. So that's what I'm trying to do. Walk, who also spent most of his career with Reynolds Aluminum, is now a consultant. He says pollution control, gun safety, and propping up the public education system are top priorities, and that's what he's hearing while knocking on doors and why funding is lacking in education and why funding is lacking in some infrastructure. There's funding out there to take care of it and why aren't we doing that? Our friends at VPAP indicate based off redistricting, this race for House District 73 leans Republican. Thank you, Henry. Election Day is less than a month away, and if you need to register to vote, the deadline is October 16th. That's this coming Monday. You can also find details about what may be on your ballot on our website. Just go to NBC12.com and click on Politics at the top of your screen. Let's take